build the upper tent on Ugandan All Star. Word. Yeah, shout out to my boy that kid Bill, one of the Ugandan All Star baby. Keep it locked right here. It's your boy Navio representing Clear Cut. You go flow, baby. Oh, yeah, you ready uh, now? that's Nick there. <laughs> yeah. We work on a show called African Voices. Yes. And we uh, travel around the continent essentially. Yeah. Finding characters with interesting stories who do interesting things and profile them and try and tell their entire story in a 30 minute. Uh, profile piece essentially okay. and what we liked about Abrams was that you've got this very dynamic um, character with a very interesting story to tell which is very visually strong yeah. um, and it makes him it, it, it kind of lends itself to our program and I think with any luck it'll be one of our, our best programs okay and uh, what did you hear about Abrams till you go like okay this is the kid we should do a program with well, it was f first of all... First of all, let's begin with, because I know you Googled, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we have, I mean, essentially, if you want to know the process, we have a research team that, that essentially looks for people first and gives us a list of ideas. Yeah. Okay. And from that list of ideas, yeah. uh, we pick the ones that we find most interesting. And the, naturally, we saw footage of Abrams online, and you've got this very uh, visual kind of character. So the story lends itself to not just dialogue, but you've got a guy who dances, who sings, who has this kind of great backstory. So yeah. immediately you've got a great character that I think an audience will, will be very interested to learn more about. Beyond that, I don't tend to do much more research, and it's not out of laziness. Yeah. <laughs> it's more because it's so much more fun to kind of come and meet these people without much of an agenda in your head, and then kind of see how the story develops you know, in actuality, rather than coming in with a plan. Okay. So we've spent the last couple of days with Abrams and uh, we'll just see how the next few days go and, and just kind of base our piece on that. Okay, uh, so one for you, sir. So after meeting uh, Abrams, other than, the, other, than, other than the findings you found when your research team was on it, after meeting him in person, what have you found out? I think it's an interesting look. Uh, and uh, what he's doing is very yeah, great fun, impacting on the community. So I'm looking forward to the story because I think uh, rap and uh, break dance is uh, something nice and different. It is something so, in sync that can be unsynced, right? Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. And uh, I love rap. Did you ever figure out that a big network, global network like CNN, will be doing a story of yourself? Not at all. You know, because when we were doing it back in the day, we were just driven by you know passion and that, that's always what drives me passion and also challenging myself to stay as relevant as possible yeah. uh, even when sometimes mainstream media doesn't pick interest in what we do mm -hmm. we kept doing it because the people related you know to it and the people were always supporting us because they found our art empowering uplifting and you know as entertaining at the same time yeah so that has always driven me uh, yeah. and it's amazing to see that you know, I've gotten coverage from you know big local and international media houses without trying to be something that I'm not. Yeah. So you know, you know, staying true to who I am and also having people that believe in what I do. I mean, for me, that's priceless, and I'm always grateful for that. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you think this is going to do for the Abrams brand? Because <laughs> this, this is, is like big. This is like a global platform. It is a global platform. I mean, CNN, I was watching CNN since I was a kid. Yeah. And I know CNN is all over the world. Yeah. But also, when you know, a media house like CNN comes to document your story, you know it is something really serious. Yeah. Uh, yes, one thing is yes, promoting the work that we do, because the work that we do as, as, you know, as, as, as a network, but also the work that I do as a person, yeah. it's going to be seen globally. Yeah. But it, it, this is also a self-esteem boost, you know, yeah. to know that they think I'm worth being, you know, uh, documented for me that gives me a reason to stick to what I do but also it just you know humbles me to you know to to, to, to see that they're interested in my uh, story work and art okay yeah. what do you got to tell to a Ugandan kid that is trying to derail just because the mainstream market are not picking up that what they're doing and they're trying to derail what do you have to say to that I'll kid? Just, I'll just ask them to always remember why they started doing what they do. Yeah. Uh, because most of, of course, most of the young people, uh, or even grown-up people that get into art, like yeah. we get into it because we love it. But then, along the way, we tend to lose focus because 
you know, mainstream media most of the time rejects our art and our stories, and sometimes it's corruption because they want you to they want they want you to give them a music video or audio song for free. Yeah. But, it, it, but sometimes they want you to pay them to air it. Yeah. So most of the people give up, and the challenge is that they forget why they started. Yeah. And we've had a lot of disappointments along the way, but we've always stayed true to our art. We've stayed true to the people and the communities, yeah. and the people have also stayed true to us. Yeah. <laughs> So what I can say is, you know, always remember why you started doing what you do and there will always be someone out there that will appreciate it. Like they say, you can never appreciate a winter jacket in Libya, <laughs> you know, Word. it's going to be summer where it's cold. And yeah, like everyone has a place, like everyone, as long as you do, you're doing what you do for a reason and you stick to your purpose yeah. and also allowing yourself to grow yeah. over time, I think there will always be an audience that will be you know interested in what you do and as an artist I always tell people I man like it's I, I'm always humbled when big media houses or companies or organizations are interested in something that I do for the love yeah um, but if they don't it's it's still I still move on because keep it moving right because I for me it's about how many lives I touch yeah. sometimes it's not even about how many times I appear yeah. on TV but I love it if I appear on TV for the right reasons yeah if I'm not supposed to be something that I'm not to be featured so yeah so that's why this scene and piece for me means so much because they are basically <laughs> then interested in who I am not yeah. who I'm trying to be so did you follow him because of uh, his music his dance or his activism work but I think you can't really look at one without the other, to yeah. be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. I think they all go hand in hand to tell this kind of rather unique story. Yeah. And in fact, we were discussing this over lunch today, yeah. which is, I mean, the music is one side. That's great. The activism is great. But alone is not as impactful as when you put them all together. Yeah. And I think that's why I'm actually very happy to do this story. And I was actually um, very keen to be the one to do it. Oh, okay. I think it's a different type of story. Yeah. It's a story that uh, is of interest to a lot of people. Purely because I think music and uh, the arts in general uh, people find inspiring. And I think that uh, Abrams' story really is one of those kind of stories. So I think, I hope that people who watch it will like it, and I hope that plenty of people do. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.